Number four, repeat exercise 22.3 for a positive charge now. All right, so first, please, at a minimum, review number one, okay? I went through a detailed analysis of this. I'm not going to, uh, you know, I need to conserve my voice to do all these problems, so I cannot really repeat myself uh, fully uh, with every problem. So please check out number one. Um, also, number two, I did for a negative charge as well, just for the reinforcement. Now, for a positive charge, we know right-hand rule number one, that the thumb will represent the uh, velocity, the four fingers will represent the uh, magnetic field B, and then the palm will represent the force, okay? And I also have a picture in that problem too, so that'll help. Now, um, with now letter A here, what you have to do, maintain that rigid position with your thumb at a 90 degree angle to your four fingers, all right? What we're going to do is let's work with the four fingers for first. Uh, let's take those four fingers now. They represent the magnetic field and point them towards your eye. Okay? Now with your four fingers pointing towards your eye, you have to make sure that your palm now is then facing upwards. So there's only one way to do this. Imagine you're a waiter or a waitress. It's like you're holding a tray. All right? If you've ever, right, you've been to a restaurant... So you're, it's like you're holding a tray, a platter of food, right? How do they hold it? You know how they hold it. So if your hand is in that position right now with your four fingers pointing towards you basically, okay, or out of the computer screen, your palm should be pointing up, then the thumb should be pointing now to the left, okay? The thumb should be pointing to the left, left, all right? And that's the now direction of the force, uh, excuse me, the, velo uh, the velocity, sorry, velocity, velocity, the thumb we're talking about, right? So the velocity then to the left. All right, letter B. Now uh, take those four fingers now and you got to point them to the uh, right, okay? Four fingers to the right. Now the palm has to be pointing up, okay? And if the four fingers are to the right and your palm is pointing up and you're maintaining a 90 degree angle between those four fingers and your thumb, the thumb has to be now pointing towards you or out of the computer screen. Okay, so there's going to be a little dot now we're going to represent with a little dot out of screen or page, whatever the heck you want to call it, right? Last but not least, letter C, the magnetic field is now pointing into the page. Okay, that's what the X's mean. And so take your fingers and point them into the computer screen. Now, face your palm to the left-hand side. Now, this should look like you're shaking someone's hand right now. Your fingers are, if you're right-handed, by the way, okay? Well, this is right-hand rule, so don't use your left hand. You have to be right-handed for this. Use your right hand, not necessarily do you have to be right-handed. You know what I'm talking about. So just face your, face your four fingers into the computer screen. The palm should then be pointing to the left. It looks like you're shaking someone's hand, if, right? And your thumb should then be pointing up. All right, your thumb is pointing directly up. So that's the direction of the velocity. Guys, that's all. All right, hopefully that helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.